What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thursday morning, trip to the thrift. We are back for another one and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we can find today out in the thrift to sell onto eBay. Look, I know that New South Wales, Victoria, there's a lot of lockdowns going on in the country right now and I wanted to make this video a little bit more interactive. So I'm taking over my Instagram page today. I'm doing a cop or drop segment. I'm basically letting you decide on the items that I'm a little bit on the fence about. So those results will be coming through as we go through this video and hopefully you get some enjoyment out of that aspect it might be something that i continue to do moving forward remember to smash the like button let's go and find some sweet items to see what we can get i just can't help myself guys when i see the dogs i've just got to give them a pat but here we are into the first thrift of the day and i found myself a pair of really good asics uh, footy boots these are the lethal ultimates and as you can see by the comps here we can be talking about 65 to 70 dollars there was a pair that sold for 119 in pre-owned condition as you can see at the top there so you never know i might be able to get a few more a great get for 15 dollars also found these ones as well these were the adidas retro neon 10ks uh, a us size 6 pair of women's shoes these ones um, they're only a $6 price tag, as you can see there. So surely, surely there's going to be some money made in those ones. Uh, also found the Nike uh, Run Swift uh, women's running shoes yet again. Uh, these were a very clean pair of shoes. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of work that needs to get done to these before I'm putting them under the headlights and uh, getting them up onto my eBay store. So for a $10 investment, I thought that was two very, very good pairs of shoes purchased. Also made my way to the DVDs and we had a bit of a special running here. Five for $3. Have a bit of a scan through all of these and let me know if I've missed any. But uh, I did have a bit of a dig and I did pull out mainly these King of Queens DVDs. Now there were three that I've got on camera I actually ended up finding a total of five King of Queens DVDs, not in consecutive order, but I'm still going to go with the purchase on the special. I was almost going to grab that one as well. If you can find Rugrats, it goes pretty well. Now, this is the one that I want you guys to let me in on. Uh, what do you reckon about this? This is the Walt Disney 1965 Vintage Book Collection. I really want to get your thoughts on this one because I ummed and ahed over it and I thought if ever was going to be the time to ask you guys, uh, now is the time. $3 is the book and uh, it is a hard cover so we're talking $12. Let me know what you would do before I show you a bit later on. I then walked past one of the scariest backpacks I have ever seen in my life and uh, I made my way across to the clothing section. There were some really good gets here in the clothing section. There were a Nike polo shirt right here. Now I get these golf polos all the time. This is a 2XL. We're talking about $7 which is pretty much a standard price point. Should turn into about 30 bucks. Also found a Canterbury polo shirt. Now this was a really nice long sleever as well and uh, had the nice stripe and the colorway there. So I've gone ahead and picked this one up. Canterbury is a pretty good brand even being a size small still happy to get it. Tommy Hilfiger in the mustard yellow. This was a pretty nice one as well for $7. You don't often find Tommy Hilfiger here on the Gold Coast for just seven bucks in a pair of pants. So I was very happy to find those. I believe the size on them was a size 32. Uh, also found these ones. These were the Katmandu's. Uh, a size small, which isn't great, but I still think I can get some good resale value because they are the zip off pants and uh, they were only $7. So they're in excellent condition. I thought I'd go ahead with those ones as well. And I found a pair of Rip Curl board shorts. We are coming into the summertime over here in Australia. So I am actually starting to pick these up again. They do go on to sell. I can often get the good ones done for about 20 bucks plus postage. And as you'll see here, I'm generally picking them up for about five or six dollars. So a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes, and some DVDs. All right, guys. The first one that we had a bit of a poll on there was those Walt Disney books, and we had a resounding response of yes, cop them. So I've gone ahead and I've done that. Now they were three dollars each. It cost me twelve dollars. These are some vintage Walt Disney books. And uh, I, I truly do believe I will be able to get about 50 bucks for them. That's what the comps were telling me on eBay. So hopefully you guys check that out before you said cop it, rather than just saying, hey, mate, go and waste yourself 12 bucks if there weren't any good comps. But regardless, guys, I've got them. I'm going to be shooting for 50. Thank you very much for letting me know to pick these ones up. A very resounding 79%. So let's keep moving. Op shot number two. I've got a few more items I need your help with. So stick around. Op shop run number two is off to a flying start here. Have a look at this board game, the Wheel of Fortune. Now this was in a $1 box and I had a look inside and it was complete. It had every single piece that you would need. It was just a matter of knowing what it sells for on eBay. And then sure enough, there you go, the comps, unbelievable. We're talking about $50 for this board game, guys. So definitely one to be looking out for. This is the 2002 Grundy version, just for you guys 
having a look when you're back in the thrift. Uh, also found these Nintendo Wii games as well. Now you're never a guarantee with these Wii games to actually find any real value. A lot of them can be worth anywhere between sort of five to $10. That real fishing game, it's a $10 game. The Mummy, it's about eight to $10, so no real value. But this one here, this was a good one. Resident Evil 4, goes for about 25 bucks. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up. Uh, Wii Music as well goes for about 15. But in the end guys, all of these Wii games, they were advertising them for just $1 each. So for that reason, I've actually gone ahead and I've bought all of them. So we look, we've got seven games there. All of them are, 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 to be honest, there's a few there that I'll be putting into a bundle with a Wii console. Um, I've got a console at home, so I'll bundle it up with the cheap games. But here is the next Instagram viewer poll question. Would you have bought these shoes or not? We've got the Sketches Golf Shoes. And they were in pretty good condition, as you can see there. $15 was the price tag. Let me know. Have a bit of a think. Would you have bought that shoe if you were in the thrift yourself? Uh, also found a pair of shoes I wasn't going to be saying no to, and that's the Asics Gel Nimbus 21s. Now, these old school shoes, the Kayano, the Nimbus, they actually can go for quite a few dollars. We've got a $14 cost here on the price tag, and uh, the comps on eBay are pretty damn good. Some of them, if in good condition, go for about $120. So I've gone ahead and picked this one up. There was a little bit of wear on the sole. So I'm gonna be aiming for about $80 and I think I'll probably get it. We've got the Brooks Glycerin 16s. These aren't quite as good as the uh, the Nimbus 21s that we just saw, but there is some really good resale value for the Brooks uh, Glycerins. And this is quite an old shoe, the 16 series. So some good comps on eBay there for about 55 to $70, only paying the 10 bucks in the thrift. So I thought that was a fantastic shoe grab yet again. We're doing pretty well with the shoes today so far. One item of clothing in this run, and that was this Rabbitohs jumper. Now, there was no price tag on it. I went up to the counter and I said, how much are you charging for this bad boy? and they said $5. So I couldn't be saying no to five bucks. That one should be able to turn into $30. It is a 2XL for anybody out there interested. Off shop run number two, guys. We are all wrapped up in there and there were a lot of good things purchased. So I ended up, as you would have seen, ended up grabbing a stack, but there was that one viewer poll that I wanted to have a quick chat about. And that was the Sketches Golf Shoes. Now we had a very close battle in the little half hour uh, poll and um, it came to a 53.47, I believe from memory. So um, a very, very close, but it was a drop um, in the end. So I didn't pick those up, but I did grab the Gel Nimbus 21s. They were a pretty sweet pair of shoes and the Glycerin 16s, I think these ones were, yeah. So a couple of very old school running shoes and that Rabbitohs jumper as well was only a $5 purchase. I did just really quickly want to mention as well, Ghost Chase, um, there was a viewer of the channel and I'm very sorry, I can't remember your name, but you messaged me on Instagram Instagram off last week's video when I showed these VHS tapes and you asked me to get Ghost Chase. So I've been able to grab it for you, mate. Um, never heard of it, but um, clearly you're a collector and you wanted to get your hands on that one. So that is going to be going to you uh, very, very soon. So um, awesome little run there, guys. We are really rolling and I'm having a lot of fun doing this viewer poll. So let's do another one in uh, the third op shop of the day and we'll see what we can grab in there. The third op shop run of the day. We've got an Instagram viewer poll question. Would you have bought this St. George Illawarra rugby league jersey? Now this was a size large. It's very, very clean. There's one thing that I really noted about this one, being a white jersey, it did come across very clean. $10 cost. It's a retro classic, so it's not a genuine retro jersey. It's more just a, a mock retro jersey. So let me know in the comments, would you have bought that one? Also found these Insight jeans as well. Now, this is a brand I'll always look out for if it's at the right price. We've got an $8 price tag here. I believe the size was a 32 waist, which is uh, pretty good. Definitely something I'll look for. And uh, I reckon I can push that for about 40 bucks. These are a really good pair of Nike running shoes as well. If you see a shoe like this, definitely try and pick it up. If it's anywhere below $15, that would be the price that I would always commit to. So I've gone ahead and I've grabbed these ones because it was $15. When you're looking for shoes, uh, fabric tears is something that you want to avoid. And you also want to make sure that the soles have at least got a couple of months worth of wear, which these ones did. These are a perfect example of exactly that, the Air 270s. Uh, unfortunately though, it was a smaller size and the, oh yeah, $20, yeah, I can't be doing that. So I left that one back on the shelf. Also found these as well. Um, we've got seasons one, two, and three of MASH. Now two of these DVDs are actually brand new and sealed as you can see there. So there's gonna be some really good resale value for that reason alone, let alone how good of a TV show this one is. Let me know if you've watched it. But uh, I reckon I can push this one for about $35. So $3 a piece, I've paid nine bucks. I reckon we can turn that pretty fast. Also found these as well, the Salomon Ski Boots. Now I'm always looking for these. I'm not necessarily always committing to the purchase, but I'm always keeping an eye on them because there is some really good resale value. And the postage is generally between 20 to $30 any time I've sold the ski boots in the past. You can always work on around about a $100 resale value. I bought these for $20. Well, actually, no, I didn't buy these for $20, I should say. I ummed it hard, but I did pass. But there is some good money 
in these ski boots. Also found this one as well, the Reed Bike. Now, it's a really great brand of bike, but uh, this is an item that I'll be looking for on Facebook Marketplace. $200 in an op shop, unfortunately, a little bit too steep. Op shop run number three, guys. We are having a very good day. I'm actually really happy with what we've been able to pick up so far. This was the one that I was a little bit contentious about. This was the St. George Illawarra uh, NRL jersey. Now, you guys know that I love my jerseys, but I put it as a poll because I wasn't sure because of the retro. Uh, it's just a mock retro jersey. It isn't it a truly an old school vintage jersey. It's just been made to be one. Um, with that retro tag. So for 10 bucks, you guys have said that you thought it could be flipped for a bit of a profit. So therefore, we're going to go and do just that. I went ahead and grabbed that one for $10 based on what you guys had said. So um, let's keep moving. Op shop run number four. I'm going to have another viewer poll in there for you guys to finish the episode. Fingers crossed we can end the day on a high. It's been a good day, but it is about to get better. We've got another stack of Nintendo Wii games, and this one definitely the best of the bunch, no doubt about it. Wii Sports Resort, you can always rely on about a $30 sale price for that game, so I was absolutely wrapped to find it. You'll see here, there's a few other games. Just Dance, I thought might have been worth a few more than it was. Uh, found this one as well, which I'd never heard of. $5, um, unfortunately no resale value in that one. And then the last one here, Dance on Broadway. Unfortunately, just a $10 game. So even though there were a few to pick from, there was only the one game that I was able to secure there. But nonetheless, it was a good one. Speaking of good ones, have a look at this. Beavis and Butthead, Volume 3. My goodness, if you can find this on DVD in a series, you'll be making some serious money. Um, ended up buying that one. And this is the last Instagram viewer poll item of the day. We've got a pair of Nike Phantom Venom Elites. These are a top of the range Nike football boot. Uh, so we're talking about $250 to $300 worth of value here. A $35 price tag. Remember though guys, top of the range. Let me know what you would have done with that one in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. Uh, we've also got here another pair of shoes that I am denied about. We've got the Asics Gel Kayanos, my favorite pair of shoes to thrift. We've got the 26s, which I think is one of the more recent models. We've got a bit of a wear and tear though on the sole and I deliberated on the $25 cost and to be honest with you guys, I would never pay $25 for a pair of those shoes with a sole like that. So, I have had to put them back onto the shelf. Reluctantly though, it was reluctantly. Uh, a New Balance pair of 574s. These were a really nice pair of shoes. Haven't seen a pair of newies like this before. Really like the colors. $18 though, I almost could have put this one up as an Instagram viewer poll question because I really battled with the price point. In the end, it is just a little bit too much for me, so I did put that one back on the shelf. This one though was $13, so I have gone ahead and bought these. These are the Solar Boosts. A pair of US size 8 women's shoes, plain black. I did go ahead and grab those. Pretty happy with the condition of them. Uh, I've got a problem with the plush, guys. I talk about it all the time. It's back for another episode. I had a bit of a dig through. I'm happy to say that I didn't buy any, though, this week. Also found a couple of Nintendo Wii consoles. Again, it could have been an Instagram viewer poll question. $55 for this little Wii bundle. Did say as is, though, on the tag there. So I didn't know if this one had been tested out or not. Had another one as well for $45, which was a little bit suspect, considering it was the exact same items as the one in the uh, in the $55 bag. So why was that one $10 less? I I'll have no idea. But anyway, two really good deliberations. But in the end, I did pass on both. I knew this was going to happen. The Nike Phantom Venom Elites. $35. It's a lot of money for a pair of footy boots in the thrift, I know. But uh, I put the poll up onto the Instagram account just to see what you guys were thinking. And 29% of you said to cop them. 71% said to drop them. And look, I, I get that. That's $35. It's a lot of money and you've got to make money. So maybe you shouldn't be purchasing them. But I bought them. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Uh, they're going to go for about 100 bucks. I personally believe these are the top of the range Nike footy boots, guys. Uh, and I know my footy boots really well. And sometimes that's what it comes down to. If you know your area really well, you know your boot, which I do, especially with these ones, um, I truly believe I can make 100 bucks on them. And if I do, I'll be making well over my $30 profit that I like to make on a pair of shoes. So I guess with those ones there, it is me versus you with that one because you were saying to, uh, to drop them, but here I am picking them up. So um, that's everything, guys. I do appreciate you being here. Thanks very much. If you've enjoyed this style of interactive content, uh, let me know by hitting the like button and uh, leave a comment below as well. Um, also too, if you want to do this moving forward and you're not a part of the Instagram page at the Aussie Flipper, make sure you follow me there uh, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. These videos come out every single Thursday. So I do appreciate you being here for this one. Hope lockdown's doing all right for you. I know it's a tough time out there, but hopefully these videos can be a bit of fun along the way to get you guys through. But uh, thanks for being here. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.